Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Voice of Gaming, presented to you by Chris this week. And we're here to talk to you about gaming news, as the name suggests, and some other console news and Kickstarter projects. So let's jump right in. You want some Battlefield? Let's give you some Battlefield. EA teased the existence of Battlefield 4 in a Medal of Honor Warfighter trailer, much to the surprise of Battlefield 3 players who had barely been playing the game for a year. That was a few months ago, and now a tweet by GameStop CEO coupled with the Battlefield 3 sale suggests that the next Battlefield game may be generating some momentum. GameStop CEO said WOW on preview. It will be very similar to Battlefield 3 in many ways, but no gameplay has yet been revealed. People who pre-ordered the late Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition will be granted early access to the Battlefield 4 beta, which is scheduled for Fall 2013. Now that the Medal of Honor franchise has been retired, will Battlefield generate enough attention to try and wrest some mo control of modern shooter market away from Activision? According to DICE executive producer Patrick Bach, who previously said that people tend to buy Battlefield for quite some time, we'll see how it all goes as more details on the game surface. Next up, we have a new game called Injustice Gods Among Us. What if our greatest heroes became our greatest threat? From the indomitable DC Comics and the makers of the definitive fighting game franchise Mortal Kombat comes Injustice Gods Among Us, a bold fighting game featuring a large cast of favorite DC Comics icons. Set in a world where the lines between good and evil are blurred, players will experience heroes and villains engaging in epic battles on a massive scale. A deep original story complements the fighting action that pits many of the great heroes and villains from the DC Universe against each other. Batman, Harley Quinn, Solomon Grundy, Superman, The Flash, Wonder Woman, and many others lose their allegiances and fight for injustice. And for our console this week, the PS4. The PlayStation 4 will launch in the United States this November starting at $430, a source has told Kotaku. A second model will also be available for $530, this person said, but this is not set in stone. Pricing at this level falls in line with the past report, which suggests the system would sell for $400 plus at launch. Kotaku's source also claimed something that's not yet been heard of in the scuttlebutt surrounding the platform. Gamers will be able to control the PS4 remotely through a tablet or smartphone, this person said, adding that players will also be able to chat with friends and buy games through their devices. In addition, the source said most of the PS4's online features will mandate a premium subscription. A name change is also in the works, the person said, claiming PlayStation Plus will be rebranded PlayStation World. On top of this, the site source claimed every PS4 unit will ship with a PlayStation Eye and a new spectating feature will allow gamers to watch friends play games from their dashboard, regardless of whether or not they own the game the other user is playing. One final piece of speculation is that the PS4 will support, support local network play through the PlayStation Vita. Now for our Kickstarter this week, we have a very special game. Produced by Sensecape Games, an Argentinian indie gaming company, we get Asylum. This game, based in the Hanwell Mental Institute, redefines the meaning of fear, as some critics put it. And now, the complete trailer of this new blood-chilling adventure.
So I hope you liked this episode of Legaming Voice, and I'll see you all next week. So if you want to follow us, you can subscribe to our channel. Bye.